This week on Two Minute Roundup, scientists count polar bears from space and anchovy swarms the California coast, big news from CITES, and Australia's smallest marsupial may need a new home. All this and more coming right up. The CITES meeting in Geneva has ended with some big decisions for wildlife. There's an urgent crackdown on pangolin trafficking, immediate suspension on trade of emperor scorpions from Ghana, and much more. Get the details on the CITES website, including the latest on the trade in ivory and rhino horn. Speaking of rhino poaching, there's a new way to join the fight, playing RuneScape. To raise awareness of the threats facing these animals, players can now unlock a rhino to accompany them through the online world, if they correctly answer questions about the illegal wildlife trade. In the largest critical habitat ruling in U.S. history, nearly 700 miles of beaches and 300,000 square miles of ocean between North Carolina and Mississippi are now protected for loggerhead turtles. The area encompasses 84% of the endangered turtles' nesting grounds, so this is huge. Staying in the states where millions of anchovies are swarming the coast of Southern California. This is the biggest gathering of anchovies here in three decades. Just why the pizza toppers have moved in remains unclear, but scientists are looking for answers. Check out the full video on earthtouchnews.com. In more ocean news, officials are investigating the death of a well-known Alaskan whale that collided with a boat earlier this week. The 48-foot female humpback has lived in Alaskan water since 1975. Her death serves as a reminder for humans to be cautious and mindful in the ocean. From one cold climate to another, Scientists have cooked up a new method of counting polar bears, doing it from space. Most Arctic wildlife monitoring is done by airplane or helicopter surveys, which means spending big bucks on fuel. Using satellites to spot wildlife could cut costs, but scanning for tiny spots on big images takes time, so the jury's still out on which way is best. Animals big and small depend on ice for survival. The pygmy possum, one of Australia's tiniest inhabitants, is facing some very big problems due to warming temperatures. They use snow to insulate their bodies during their winter hibernation. It might seem bizarre, but if the snow melts early, the miniature marsupials could actually freeze to death. And finally, we're wrapping up with another adorable Australian animal. The first koala joey of the season has been born at Taronga Zoo. The little bear was named Bayali after the aboriginal word for stringy bark, one of the koala's favorite snacks. That's it for this week, but you can get more info on what's going down in the animal kingdom on our website. And don't forget to get in touch with us via Facebook and Twitter. See you next time!